Hi guys, today we are covering something that has been very popular recently on my channel, and that is kitchens. But today we're not talking about trendy kitchens or trends that may come and go, to be honest. We are talking about timeless kitchens. Kitchens that will last, hopefully, for a good chunk of time. Because let's be honest, a kitchen can be a very costly investment. So for a lot of people, they really want to invest their money in their kitchen wisely. So today we're going to go over tips on how to achieve a timeless kitchen. Now there are a lot of reasons why people want a timeless kitchen. One of them is obviously style, aesthetic, functionality, you know, just being a practical and functional space for you, but also for resale value. So when it comes to our homes, the kitchen can be one of the largest investments we make into a remodel or update to our space. And we want to make sure that if we're potentially in the market of, you know, reselling our home at some time that we're spending those dollars wisely because that can actually kind of make or break a sale, to be honest. If you've ever been on the market for a house and you've seen something that has a really dated kitchen or a really specific looking kitchen and you, you just see dollar signs because you know it's gonna cost you a lot of money to replace that. So it is really a key element when it comes to you know reselling our homes. But there's lots of other reasons why people like timeless kitchens for their classic aesthetic and just you know, a lot of us just want something that, you know, we don't have to feel like we need to replace every few years. And although I love and enjoy seeing the trends, sometimes that's not practical. So today it's about getting back to some of the basics and some of the practicality around our kitchens. So the first item on our list of how do we achieve a timeless kitchen is a nice neutral colored cabinetry. Now this is key to a timeless kitchen. So one of our staples in the neutral cabinetry color is white. And you might expect me to say, go for a white kitchen. But honestly, you don't have to go with a white kitchen to get that longevity. The neutral color palette overall will really help you achieve this look. So think of things like creams, pale grays, even an earthy light green or a pale blue, or even into that more beigey look, I'm really feeling like that mushroom kind of tone when we think about neutral. And I have a white kitchen and although it does look beautiful and it is pretty timeless, I actually, you know, you see a lot of marks on the white. <laughs> I am learning now that I've had it for a little bit. And I feel like if it was a bit more of a cream or a gray or just a little bit off white even, it would show a lot less. So that's just kind of like a lived experience as well because timeless and also having to clean is, you know, another factor. So continuing with that cabinet theme, we do want to talk about the style of cabinets that you have in your kitchen. So there are two really common, you know, dependable classics, and it really depends on if you lean to a little bit more modern or a little bit more traditional, which one you might want to go with. So we have that traditional shaker style cabinet. This is very classic. You see it. I mean, if you go in Home Depot, you'll see like tons of them. But basically, it is the one with a little bit of a reveal detail to it. Very classic, timeless. A lot of people love that cabinet. It is a little bit more traditional. If you are more on that minimalist, clean aesthetic or more modern look, I would say a flat front, which is also a classic style that you know, has been around forever, but a flat front cabinet is the way to go if you prefer a little bit more of a streamlined look. So one of the things that we've definitely noticed with our kitchen cabinetry is we have moved away from doing all painted cabinets. We're seeing a lot of embrace in blending of different styles of cabinetry, bringing in a lot of natural woods again into our kitchen, which I really do love and I do feel that it's timeless. Now I say that with a caveat because I feel like we all, rem maybe not all, sorry, my generation <laughs> remembers, you know, espresso kitchens were really, really hot and it had a pretty good long run. Like I'd say we were seeing those for a good 10 years. That being said, they are a little bit dated now. You kind of know that that's more of like an early 2000s kitchen aesthetic. That being said, a natural wood toned cabinet, like say like a walnut in more of a natural tone, not too orange, not too ready, not too dark browns, but more of that natural wood tone will have a lot of longevity to it because it is very natural 
to its true form, if that makes sense. Not like a stained version of it, but more of the natural version of it, even though it is stained. I hope that makes it clear. So one of the natural woods that I personally really love is walnut. It looks really beautiful against a lighter cabinet color and it really gives it some of that modern feeling but also has a lot of warmth and depth to it. I feel like walnut has a really rich and beautiful effect and you know, wood cabinetry is for the most part rather timeless but I think by softening it up by using not all the same material will really give it um, just a much nicer feel for the long term. So let's say you are going to be renovating your kitchen and there's something about your kitchen that just doesn't work the way it is now. Now that could come down to something known as your kitchen triangle. This is really important for the way that a kitchen flows and functions. So there's actually a design technique that we use when planning kitchens that think about the ratio between the fridge, the stove, and the sink. And that is to create your kitchen triangle. When these are out of whack, it does tend to feel like an awkward space. So when you're thinking about a timeless kitchen, if you are actually doing a full renovation or the current space that you want to renovate doesn't quite work the way that you think it should and it seems a bit off, it might be worth investing in getting a set of drawings done by a professional or doing a lot of homework around that kitchen triangle and see how you can bring that into your space. That, just from a flow standpoint, will help it function better. And if it feels and functions better, along with the aesthetic side of it, you're going to have a much better kitchen layout. It's gonna be better for resale if you wanna resell your space. But overall, it really is one of those key ingredients to a timeless kitchen because Looking good is one thing, but function is so, so important. So when we're thinking of our kitchen, we don't wanna forget our flooring. Of course, flooring is such a huge element throughout our entire home and the kitchen is no different. We wanna think about having flooring that's up to the task. Classic flooring choices for kitchen are wood and stone. Wood flooring adds a lot of character and what I love about if you bring a wood flooring throughout your home is that you can continue it from say the living room to the kitchen or dining room to the kitchen with a seamless transition. A lot of times if you have a bit of a smaller home, bringing in the same consistent flooring throughout will help make it feel larger so that's something to think about. Using a stone or a tile in the kitchen floor also creates a beautiful, you know, tactile environment. It also works well if you want to do some underfloor heating and, you know, it has a different aesthetic to it. But again, when we're thinking about those flooring choices, we do want to think about something that is classic and timeless. So if we're thinking about wood, a nice natural wood tone, something that's not too trendy, you know, like something that's really got a lot of graining in it, you might not like that later. So something that's a little bit more classic and simple and quiet that will really last the test of time. You know, think of that neutral base and kind of apply that everywhere. You don't wanna to go too crazy on elements that are super costly to replace. And flooring is, you know, next to the kitchen, one of the next biggest expenses in your home. So this came up in our kitchen trends video and that was countertops. Now in the trends video, I did highlight some really unique and bold kitchen countertops. Don't get me wrong, they are beautiful and for some people that is totally fine and they're all for it. But in a classic kitchen, one that's timeless and it's going to last the test of time, we definitely want to avoid bold countertops. They're really expensive. So we want something that's durable and enduring, and it really needs to also be practical. So to create that timeless countertop, we definitely want to avoid too bright or bold colored counters. They're not really gonna last the test of time. We want to think a lot more plain. We want to keep it a lot more natural. So marble, for example, yes, we see marble a marble look and everything from Formica to Corian to actual marble, which I mean, they all have their pros and cons. But the reason why we see a lot of that is that it is quite timeless, especially if you do something with not too strong of a veining in it, something that's more muted and simple, even just a simple white Corian with a very light texture to it looks 
great and lasts a really long time. I really do love using uh, man-made countertops because they do lend better to just overall use versus, you know, natural stones can be a little bit more porous, especially a marble is very porous. So there's a whole bunch of thoughts around uh, countertops, but yeah, if you're wanting something timeless, something neutral, something light, limited veining or light veining, nothing wrong with a natural stone look, but definitely like nothing that's too crazy over the top um, with its patterning. So you definitely want to keep it very simple and contemporary. And even if you like a traditional kitchen, Honestly, whether you like tradition, traditional or modern, it works in both, which is what I like about, you know, these very simple countertops is that they kind of feed to whatever aesthetic that you have throughout your space. Things that are easier to change than countertops or cabinetry. Something that's really important in our kitchens is our lighting. And when we're creating a great kitchen space, a timeless kitchen space, or any kitchen space, to be honest, we wanna think about our task, our ambient, and our accent lighting. And in the kitchen, that's really, really important. So we wanna think about, you know, under cabinet lighting for task lighting. So say you're cooking and prepping, you wanna have some extra light in that area. We wanna think our overall all lighting so just your kind of main light that washes over the whole space whether that's through pot lights or center light it really you know kind of depends on your kitchen design and then we also want to think about some of those accent lighting pieces so pendant lights over our island if we have it and why is lighting so important because we really want to create a lot of different feelings in that zone. We want to create ambiance. We need two different types of illumination in our kitchen. We need shadow free task lighting for cooking and prep. And then we need that ambient lighting for when you simply want to unwind or entertain. So most kitchens are going to benefit from a central lighting source, plus a combination of practical space saving wall lights and spotlights. And if possible, make sure that your lights are controlled separately so you can create different moods at the flick of a switch. So if you're interested to learn more about the different ways of lighting a space, whether it's your kitchen, dining room, living room, or really anywhere in your home, I did do a video a while back on lighting and all the different lighting styles and how to incorporate them into your space. So feel free to jump on over and check that video out after this one. It'll get into lighting in a lot more detail. And also, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. All right, we'll get back to it. One of my favorite areas of the kitchen is the fixtures and fittings. So that would be your handles, your knobs, faucet, hinges. These are really like the jewelry pieces of your space. And from a price standpoint, they can really range. One of the things with the timeless kitchen is we don't want to do anything that's too much on trend. Like I know in our trend video, we talked about these really exaggerated handles that are really, really large and oversized. I would say if you're working on a timeless kitchen, definitely think about going for something a little bit more simple, a little bit more subdued. But that being said, there's still so many beautiful different types of hardware to choose from. And honestly, these are the items that just give your kitchen that beautiful character that you can change out. I mean, they're expensive, but I like that about hardware is that you can actually change it out and like kind of refresh the style without breaking the bank. But for a timeless kitchen, we definitely want to think about something that is, you know, cohesive, simple, classic elements, nothing too crazy or over the top or too on trend. So when we're bringing together our timeless kitchen, you know, thinking about having our hardware all be cohesive and matching from, you know, your faucets to your handles, etc., just having that really cohesive complementary look is really going to help with the aesthetic, with the feel of the space and help make it feel really timeless and beautiful. I don't know about you, but nothing beats a great kitchen or a well-designed kitchen. And you know it when you walk into one because you just go, wow, the space is great. So if you enjoyed today's video, you might, you may or may not enjoy watching the kitchen trends video. It's a fun one. I'm not saying go out and do those things. They're just fun things that seem to be on trend right now. And you know, some people got the money. They can, they can roll with trends and redo their kitchens. And some people like me, I can't, <laughs> I need a timeless kitchen because I can't afford to redo it all the time. So 
definitely check that video out. I'll also include a link to my design styles videos where I have lots of different styles that I cover you know, from arts and crafts to modern to boho to Scandi, you name it, I got it. Well, maybe if I don't got it, name it <laughs> and I'll put it on the list. All right, guys, until next time. Bye. And you like more of a clean line, modern look. <laughs> it's like I'm holding a cabinet. <laughs> okay. One more time. Let's try again because I can't get the intro right. Okay. Hi, guys.